be hated for the right reasons. Bigots are going to hate you no matter what you do. So I'm here to tell you to give them a valid reason to hate you. Life is going to present you with a number of opportunities that you'll be tempted to decline for a number of internal and external reasons, whether that be culture, society, or your own false perceptions of what your capabilities are. You may have heard instances of this when you might be talking with friends, talking about colleges, and somebody says, oh, I don't want to go there. I'm going to be the only person of color in the room. Instead of these kind of statements, what we should be doing is exploring all of the possibilities and making informed decisions without inviting that voice of bigotry into the process. Because bigotry is that voice of hatred directed against you. So why would you let those who hate you define and advise you? As a biracial woman myself, my existence is enough to inspire hatred against me. So, that, so what I've decided is to live my life forgetful of their hatred, and that I'm going to refuse to live within the boundaries that they've set for me, and I urge you to do the same. If they want you to fail, try your hardest to succeed. If they think you aren't as intelligent as they are, live your life intelligently. If they try to silence you, speak out and speak louder. <laughs> speak out and speak louder. It's not about proving them wrong, but what it is about is fulfilling your purpose. Being who you need to be is the best option to do this. Because becoming who they want you to be is a pretty, a pretty pathetic way to live. <laughs> and I don't recommend it. My dad has always said that his generation has suffered far too much at the hands and mouths of bigots, but what would be even worse is if our generation doesn't continue that struggle, and if we continue to live within the boundaries that they've set for us. So what you should do is refuse it. And the best way to do this is to explore the opportunities that come your way, because if it were up to some people, you wouldn't have these opportunities. There are plenty of those in and out of positions of power who would gladly disregard us and our voices, which is why we need to use them. Lastly, let's talk about leadership. They'll try and tell you who your leaders are. They'll tell you that X, Y, and Z is the leader of the so-and-so community but you shouldn't blindly accept who they put in front of you. The poet William Ernest Henley said, I am the master of my fate, I am the captain of my soul. Meaning that it's not for them to set your trajectory or to determine your journey, you need to follow your own path. So if you do choose to follow someone, follow those who have overcome the boundaries placed in their way by the bigots. Because at the end of the day, this is our country, our world, and it is our right to have an active role in its present and in its future.